So you have bought a mind RX 580. You just found that it has a modified BIOS. So now you want to flash an original or similar to the original BIOS. What you have to do, it is pretty simple. Uh, you have just to follow me. Uh, firstly, you have to get AMD VB flash. Uh, you, you will find this uh, software on Tech Power Up. And uh, for RX 580, I will recommend you the 3.31 version. Uh, the latest one gives errors for me, so it may work for you but for me it doesn't work so i'm gonna use the 3.31 i already have it on my system but i'll just download it there is no problem uh, then you'll have to go where you have downloaded it to extract it i'm gonna use uh, winrar to extract this uh, zip here you will have to put the the bios file and uh, still from here you'll have to install uh, uh, a driver that will uh, offer access to kernel level zero i'm not uh, too technical on it but i'll have to open it and press I it uh, have installed that driver now after you will flash the BIOS you'll have to uninstall it because uh, it will open uh, some things that can make uh, your system more vulnerable blah, 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 English is hard. okay now still from the tech power ups website you'll have to get uh, from databases a VGA BIOS now if you have an uh, RX 580 made by uh, Gigabyte you'll have to go on their website uh, find uh, your uh, model you'll have uh, from the Gigabyte and there you'll have the VGA BIOS and uh, the tool to flash the BIOS there so if you don't have an uh, gigabyte GPU just follow my video it is pretty simple so from here I'm gonna select Sapphire that's my GPU right now from here I'll select the RX 580 uh, and the memory size depending on your GPU you'll have to select one I'm having the 8 gigabyte model and from here uh, it will uh, be a bit hard because uh, you'll have to firstly find what memory vendor your GPU uses mine uses uh, uh, SK Hynix or Micron let me show you with GPU Z. So yeah, uh, it is uh, Hynix with the same software. You, you can watch uh, and find uh, your memory vendor on your GPU. And uh, from here, if the if the BIOS uh, you have entered here has listed Samsung and Hynix it means it supports both of them now there might be some biases that might not gonna work firstly it will crash or something like this if you have uh, an iGPU it will be safe you can uh, refresh it to refresh it it is pretty simple if you have a dual bios like uh, mine it is again pretty easy to redo that it's not hard you'll have just to find the right uh, bios for you if you have uh, pulse edition 
I'm sure uh, that uh, most of those uh, don't have uh, uh, a dual bias so the only thing that could be wrong here might be the power limits and things like that it could differ from a version to another of the GPU now I have already downloaded the uh, BIOS I have it here uh, now let me show you how to flash the BIOS uh, let's open CMD with uh, administrator from here you'll have to change the directory if you have it uh, on another volume like mine uh, I have it on E you just type E then you have to type CD change directory copy the directory from the file explorer like my like this control V on the CMD press enter and here now we have changed the directory on the uh, on the MDVB flash part now you have to type mdvb flash dash e this way you'll have to find what uh, gpu you have to flash uh, here it will show you the number of your gpu like uh, the adapter number to select it to flash if you have uh, multiple gpus connected it will show you here and you can simply select the number for the GPU you want to flash so in my case I have only one so to flash just type md vb flash dash p zero because this is my adapter number so it will be yours too because you have only one if you have only one yeah uh, and now you'll have to copy the name of the BIOS you could simply rename it whatever you want if you want to be easier then right click or control V on uh, CMD window and enter if it will give an error like this one uh, it means uh, your GPU part number is different than the BIOS you want to flash so to forcefully to forcefully flash the BIOS you have to type this after uh, the BIOS file name dash FP and just press enter now it starts to flash and after the process is finished you'll have to restart your system and after uh, you restarted the system just uninstall the flash driver because it will increase the vulnerabilities in your system so that was it